one. Okay, so our group introduction, it's that we are group four and our name is the Quarant team. And our group members are Aaron, Philip, Stephen, myself, Mariel, Rhino, or Reno, um, Mele, and Sabrina. And here's a little clip of the movie that we chose, which is The Incredibles. One. Public opinion turns against superheroes, also called supers, due to the collateral damage caused by their crime fighting. After several lawsuits, the government silently initiates the Superhero Relocation Program, which forces supers to permanently adhere to their secret identities. Fifteen years later, Bob and Helen Parr, formerly known as Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl, and their children Violet, Dash, and baby Jack-Jack are a suburban family. Bob dislikes the mundanity of suburbia and his white-collar job. Together with his friend Lucius Best, formerly known as Frozo, Bob occasionally relives the glory days by moonlighting as a vigilante. After his supervisor prevents him from stopping a mugging, Bob loses his temper and injures him, resulting in the loss of his job. Returning home, Bob finds a message from a mysterious woman named Mirage, who convinces him to become Mr. Incredible again and gives him a mission to destroy a savage tripod-like robot called the Omnidroid on the remote island of Nomanasan. Bob finds the Omnidroid and destroys it by tricking it into ripping out its own power source. Bob finds the action and higher pay rejuvenating. He improves his relationship with his family and begins rigorous training while awaiting more work from Mirage for the next two months. Discovering a tear in his suit, he visits superhero costume designer Edna Mode. Mode, assuming that Helen knows what Bob is doing, makes new suits for the entire family. Leaving for Nomanasan once again, Bob discovers Mirage is working for Buddy Pine, a disaffected former fan whom Mr. Incredible had rejected as his sidekick. Having adopted the name Syndrome, he has been perfecting the Omnidroid by hiring different supers to fight it, adding new features on the occasion that a super wins. Now that it is capable of defeating Bob, Syndrome intends to send the machine to the city of Metroville. There, he will secretly manipulate its controls to defeat it in public, becoming a hero himself. Later, he will sell his inventions so that everyone will become equally super, making the term meaningless. Meanwhile, Helen visits Edna and learns what Bob has been up to. Edna activates a beacon she built into the suit so Helen can find Bob, inadvertently causing him to be discovered and captured. Helen borrows a private plane to head for Nemanisan, but Violet and Dash have stowed away wearing their own suits leaving Jack-Jack with the babysitter. Syndrome shoots down Helen's plane, but she and the children survive and reach the island. Helen infiltrates the base, discovering Syndrome's intentions to send the Omnidroid to Metroville in a rocket. Distraught by Syndrome's indifference when her life was threatened, Mirage releases Bob and informs him of his family's survival. At the same time, Helen arrives and races off with Bob to find their children. Dash and Violet are spotted and chased by a number of Syndrome's guards but fend them off with their powers before reuniting with their parents. However, Syndrome captures them, leaving them imprisoned on Nomanisan while he follows the rocket to Metroville. The Pars escape and travel to Metroville in a spare rocket. True to his programming, the Omnidroid recognizes Syndrome as an opponent and attacks the remote on his wrist, making him incapable of controlling it, while simultaneously knocking him unconscious. The Pars and Frozone team up to fight the Omnidroid. The battle is indecisive until Bob comes across the remote, allowing him to control one of the robot's arms and uses it to destroy its power source. Returning home, the Pars find Syndrome, who plans to kidnap and raise Jack-Jack as his own sidekick to exact revenge on the family. As Syndrome is traveling upward to reach his airplane, Jack-Jack's own superpowers start to manifest and he escapes from Syndrome mid-air. Syndrome manages to get on the plane and gloats, but Bob throws his own car towards the plane, causing Syndrome to lose his balance and get sucked into the plane's jet engine destroying the aircraft and killing him while Helen catches Jack-Jack. Three months later, the Pars witness the arrival of a new villain called the Underminer. They put on their superhero masks ready to face a new threat. Okay, so one of the concepts um, that we used was synergy. Um, synergy occurs when a group performance from joint action of members exceeds expectations and skills of an individual. Um, in the movie, the Incredibles work as a team in order to save their environment from the villain. Mr. Incredible brings his family together throughout the movie in order for each of them to use their own superpowers to save the day. Roll. 
Role conflict is when group members play roles in different groups that contradict each other. And the Incredible Family is no stranger to this concept. Bob Parr plays the father in superhero role, two roles that are completely different from one another. Bob still wants to be able to help people because he knows that he is needed, but because he is outlawed, he is forced to play this role in secret and play the family man at the role at the same time. Similar situation also goes with Helen Parr, how she was still part of the big dogs. She had to change from being a superhero helping to being a mom helping changing diapers. Dash is also very similar in regards to playing the superhero role in Quiet. Dash has to play the normal school kid role so he doesn't get found out for being a super. However, he still wants to show off his powers by showing how super he really can be. And that brings us to our third concept, um, five stages of group development. Um, as you guys have read in your textbooks, um, the five types are forming, storming, norming, performing, and adjourning. Um, throughout the movie, uh, the family dynamics have been changing between, um, from where I saw was from storming and performing. Um, but examples that I've seen in the movie um, are when Elastic Girl and Mr. Incredible, which were, they were pretty much two um, independent superheroes that came together to create a family, which um, satisfies one of the group stages of development um, um, for me. Um, another example of, I mean, sorry, an example of storming was when um, we know from the movie, the families had to suppress their superpowers because they struggled to fit in the normal society. So we can see an example of Mr. Incredible seeking out his own agendas, but being um, that great superhero guy again. And in turn, it, it created this tension between his family. Um, his wife distrusted him. She thought he was cheating on her. And then it just created this little, um, this tension, this tension in, in the movie. So um, that would be an example of storming. Um, norming, um, I put as a last girl reassures her daughter that she will be able to control her powers. That's really important because Remember, if you guys can remember in the textbooks, um, when you um, um, reassure your group members that they'll do well in their group, that gives that confidence and that allows your group to uh, project. And um, an, an example of performing was when all the members came together to defeat the robot, the incredible boy um, deployed at the city. And then a journey was where you saw that after Judas became the robot, they they met another antagonist, right? That they left us off of that cliffhanger and they knew what to do. So yeah. Concept number four was choosing and developing group members, which basically was picking the member that had complement complementary skills base and building teamwork and developing communication in the movie the incredibles the par family's children were not allowed to use their powers in public throughout the movie the kids dash and violet were able to develop roles in the family as they were able to use their powers in the beginning violet was not able to control her powers even at the point where she wasn't able to use her powers when the plane was getting attacked and also as they fought syndrome she was able to use her powers to help in battle and defeat syndrome seen in the picture uh, Mr. Also, Mr. Incredible was once a lone wolf, but then changed and developed his attitude to work as a family. And then they worked together to build teamwork and develop their communications as the movie went on. So the last concept will be role fixation. Role fixation, the acting out of a specific role and that role alone, no matter what the situation might require. In the beginning of the movie, Mr. Incredible experiences role fixation when his boss fires him he becomes very angry and he uses his strong powers to throw his boss across the company so in conclusion we were able to learn five concepts which are used in the movie the incredibles and also we were all able to connect those concepts to the specific seen to know how those concepts are used in the story and they hear those five concepts through those five concepts they were able to take back their bond or 
trust by getting through difficulties, and also the adversities which the family are facing, which the family are facing. So overall, the movie is very successful and a group as a hero family, and also solving problems within their family group by communicating each other through the, those five concepts. Okay, and those were the concepts of the movie that we used.